Okay, today I'm going to be creating a wood stove for a campsite out of an old 100-gallon propane tank. I don't encourage anybody to try the following for themselves, as it could be dangerous if there's enough fumes inside for an explosion. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get to the video. Hey everyone, today we have this propane cylinder, and I'm going to be turning it into a wood-burning stove. You might be asking, why is it painted like that? That's because I used it as a Halloween decoration near the street last year. I have since painted over the face. You might be able to see it right here. The eyes. It was painted like a big pumpkin. Big jack-o'-lantern, basically. And I don't want it anymore. You might remember I was showing this thing, moving it around in the sub-zero temperatures. It was making this eerie creaking noise through the snow. But anyways, I took it from that job site because I like collecting large metal objects for whatever reason. Thought it was cool. The first thing I did was it says property of Amerigas all over it and there's this phone number. I called it, asking them if they wanted their tank back. They said they'll take the tank away if I would pay the $1,100 bill remaining with the serial number on the tank. And told them that's not going to happen. It's not my bill. I took this from someone else's property. So basically told them they're not going to get their tank back. I'm going to scrap it. I'm not paying their $1,100 bill. It's their own fault for continuing to fill it. $1,100, that's probably two or three times filling this size tank. They enabled whoever was doing that from paying their bill because they kept filling it for free. That's their own fault. It's not like it was in their heads. If we don't fill this guy's tank, the person's going to freeze to death in the winter not being able to heat the house. This was not even connected to a furnace. The only purpose of it was a cooking stove and a cooking stove. You know how long it would take to burn this amount of fuel? $1,100 worth of fuel. It's ridiculous. They must have been doing that for over a decade. Just kept filling it for free. That's their own fault. You can see all the chipping paint. Tank is in perfect condition. Not a spot of rust, but it is old. They would probably scrap it anyways. So, they didn't want their tank back. So, this thing, even though it's open, there's no pressure in it. If you put your nose up to this, even years after being last sealed you can still smell a ton of propane in there and that could be an explosion hazard i'm going to pour an entire container of dish soap in there and fill it up to the top with water let it soak a few days it'll break down all the residue left in the tank so there won't be any kind of explosion then while it's still filled with water i'm going to take a reciprocating saw with a metal cutting blade start in here cut the entire top of it off I haven't decided if I want to tack well the smokestack or not, or I might just leave it the way it is. Then I'm going to tip it over, spill the water out. Now that the top's open, it won't be an explosion hazard anymore. I'm going to go on the bottom, take a metal cutting unit bit, make a pilot hole. I'm going to cut a really small firebox door. I might hinge it so it's like a wood-burning stove. Probably not. I want it to be open so air can get in there. And then I'm going to leave it at one of the campsites in the campground. Perfect for windy weather fire won't be able to spread even if it's throwing sparks you can put metal chicken wire over the top of it to catch the sparks and then i'm going to tip it over with the unit bit make a bunch of holes in the bottom so rain can't gather and also so it can suck air and make the fire better all right this thing weighs about so i'm going to need the hand truck to get this thing close enough to a hose to fill it up and let it soak I would have rathered using Blue Dawn soap because that's much better for grease. But this is what I have. It's from the dollar store. Squirt all that in there. We're going to make a ton of suds with the hose. Break down all the oil. And we're going to cut the top open while it's still full of water. And it just came to my attention. I can barely tip this tank over as it is. More than twice my weight. The end of the hose doesn't fit. 
This is pumping about eight gallons per minute. So I'm gonna be standing here for a little while. The air coming out of there smells awesome. Oh, never mind. I just readjusted the gauge. I got it to fit. Now I can sit down and relax while this thing takes like 20 minutes to fill. And don't worry about me wasting water. This is coming directly out of a well. It's like almost unlimited. Plus, I'm going to be giving the water right back when I tip it over, right? Basically. It's like a million degrees out today. Why was I wearing a hoodie? I'm sweating. But this thing feels so good being filled up with cold groundwater. It's so amazing. The thing is sweating. It's so freezing. That feels so nice. It's so cold. Look at it. Look at it. It's about to be a geyser of suds when the water gets up here. Water's almost up. It's spitting. It's going to start firing. Oh, oh. Here it comes. Look at that big snot going down the side of the tank. Really nice seeing that constant stream of foam. Yeah, that smells really good. Waiting for that geyser of suds. See, it's going faster and faster. It's running out of space in there. Yeah, the, oh, the water's like right here. Only a couple more gallons. I don't want to miss this. It's making a different noise now. I think we're getting close. Oh, look at the suds are kind of getting dirty now. Do we got water there? No, that's still all completely suds. And look at it go now, it's so much acceleration. Look at that, filling my hands with all that suds. It's not cold, there's no water involved yet. Oh, look at the ground. This pile's gonna be huge. Yeah, oh, it's starting to get cold. It's like half mixed with water now. It's so nice on a hot day feeling this. Yeah, that's like almost completely water now. It's getting more and more runny. Well, look at the pile now. It's getting really fun. That might be what the that might be it. Nope, it's not. It's not full yet. You see how it keeps taking breaks? Oh, this thing is so heavy now. Oh yeah, it's up here. Oh, now we got the water. Now it's all water. I'm trying to rinse my hand off, but it's just suds. There we go. Better go shut it off now. All right, the tank sat overnight. I just bought these bits because I was afraid the ones I have might not work. So now I got a bunch of them I can burn through. These are just cheap Harbor Freight ones. They didn't cost too much. These still cost a lot regardless. Bits like this, good ones, can be up to 200 bucks. It was 40 for this. I'm hoping they work. I only have to use it one time. All right, I got my earplugs and safety glasses on. This drill is terrible. It's the only one I could find at the moment. I spoke too soon. It's actually working okay now, other than that. 
see, it's not a powerful drill. Usually when I would use a bit like this, it wouldn't jam like that. Almost big enough for the blade. All right, lesson learned. The blade with the teeth goes through it like butter. The one here, which is meant for black iron, not great for this. The water's acting like a lubricant. It's not cutting anything. The water doesn't matter if you have teeth. I just metal sticker than I thought, so I had to drill a few holes. The big bit end of it snapped off, and I'm actually super excited about that. Because now, I'm still using this one, and then I can use this to finish the hole. The reason I'm excited, because when I'm done, I'm gonna return it to the store. The use of this was free, because it broke. I don't need the ladder. I'm actually standing on top of it quite nicely. This is staying. I'm cutting out little triangles at a time. That's plenty big enough for the smokestack. I'm just going to tack weld onto the existing structure. I'm not removing that like I originally thought. This is going to stay there for now. Give it a test run. If it feels like it needs a bigger exhaust pipe, I'll work my way around that, but not right now. I don't think it needs it. can't do that with one hand. Okay, that's a about a 100 gallon tank it looks like. So that means it would weigh around 375 pounds. Plus, it's filled with water. 100 gallons of water. I'm trying to do the math in my head. It's probably around 850 pounds. So that's over a thousand pounds, but I still think I, I might be able to tip it over myself. I think so. Ooh, yeah! Look at that! Look at the suds that thing's making! These hostas right here are gonna love that drink. Here we go. That came out so awesome. Let's check out the inside before we do any more cutting. Oh yeah, you can definitely see a little bit of petroleum residue. That's why the smell wasn't going away. But this thing, there was no way I was cutting into that thing without doing this rinse. Now remember, that thing is still half full. All right, here's the float for the gauge that used to be on the tank. It never had a gauge since I've had it. Oh, um, look at that, you see, look at there's even mechanical gears in there that would have controlled the gauge. And now these blades were completely useless. And for that reason, they're getting returned with the other stuff. But to just take a look at this, how thick that is. No wonder I was burning through so many blades. But the blades were cheap. Only used like five bucks worth of blades. This one piece here, the door, that weighs a ton. I'm going to keep that. Not going to throw it in a scrap bin. Because for now, I'm not going to do it. But in the future, I might want to drill a few holes and put a hinge door. You never know. This thing is thick. It's not like from burning, you're going to rust through that anytime soon. Also, for no one gets hurt on it, I'm gonna de-burr de all this. So if you're reaching in there to like build a TP or something, you don't get your arm cut, because that's really sharp. I gotta file that down. And now, that is adequate, the hole in the top. Not many people are that tall. I'm just over six feet, and I'm not tall enough to see that ugly hole, unless I actually look in there. So, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna leave it. And, maybe tack weld a taller stack. That would be kind of cool. I, this thing, I built it because it's good for burning in windy weather. It won't blow away or cause a fire. Going down the drain plug. 
really slowly as a mosquito bites my leg. Oh, it's gonna make a whirlpool, yep! Yeah. Love the echo inside this tank. I better sweep up all that grit on the bottom. All right, here we are at one of the campsites. Debris all over the ground, and it's all dead and dry. I can break it up, load that firebox, and light it up. It's not gonna be that beautiful fluorescent orange anymore. As Soon as that thing gets heated up, it's gonna flake back to plain metal, and as soon as it cools down, it's gonna turn, well, orange once again as it oxidizes. But temporarily then it'll turn just a regular brown color or rust after a few days let's get some firewood and i also need bug spray there's a lot of mosquitoes going after me that thing is sounding terrible i think the brushes are all messed up from that excessive heat it's an old drill I believe this came from a tag sale for like a dollar. Oh wow, look what I accidentally created. It's a literal fire tornado in there. Look at it spinning. That's awesome. An actual fire tornado. That is awesome. Look how cool that is. A fire tornado going all the way up inside it. I've seen people online work so hard to achieve that in a circle of box fans, but that, look at that. It's like a giant arc of lightning going straight up. This is the perfect fire NATO generator. Look at the flame going all the way up through the top. So awesome with the exposure all the way down. Let's see if that looks any different from the top. Burning real nice. This paint will be off in no time. Look at those bubbles. Working beautiful. Like 90% of that smoke is coming from the paint. Luckily it's not going towards me. We're all back off. It's going to be toxic just for a... Like, that'll be gone in 10 minutes and I'm going to cook some food in here. Alright. I'm glad I made the hole at the top small because it stops it from burning too fast. Here I got some big logs. Jam them up inside it. Jam another lo log up inside there. And a third log at the same time. Actually, I could probably fit like 20 of them vertical in there. Got more of them. These are nice and dry. They don't weigh a lot, so they're gonna burn real fast. Look how tall this one is. Up inside. That's gonna get burning nice and hot. We're getting closer to that point. It's about to stop smoking and we can cook some food on it. That's actually pretty cool, the pattern of how it's burning off. Now that's pretty awesome. We got bare steel underneath there. The paint is no longer burning. That's a bunch of green stuff I put in there. That's why it's making a lot of smoke. The smoke you see on the bottom is coming out of the holes from the drain plug. Yeah, that paint it has already burned. It's just waiting to flake off.
Just waiting for it to get dark out. This thing I've been using so I can watch this fire NATO for a while. I've realized that a half a gallon of fuel in there lasts over an hour and it throws a tremendous amount of heat. This thing is great for keeping warm. Finally starting to get dark. I don't want to film this totally dark because you won't be able to see anything. Burning very clean. It's still kind of making the fire NATO in there. Ah, there it goes. It's back and forth. It's not doing it as good as it was before. I'm thinking maybe when the thing is cold, that somehow helps it because I can't figure it out. It hasn't been as consistent since the first time I did it. Maybe when the metal's freezing cold, it somehow helps it. But now it's not really doing it because I don't, I don't know why it's acting like that. It's perfectly still out. There's no breeze. Don't know why it's back and forth like that. Hope this video was interesting. Thanks for watching.